What's good, YouTube? It's your girl, Miss Golden83, and I am here to do a dream catcher read for the sign of Cancer. Okay, Cancer, you guys are third this week on the zodiac lineup. Hopefully, you guys are doing well. Remember, you guys, these are general messages, not personal. So, take what resonates and pass the rest to the next. Okay, so. As you guys know, you are part of week one. Your readings will always be the first week of every month, okay? So, let's go ahead and get into it. One from the top, which is your energy. One from the bottom, which is the energy of the situation and or person. And then one energetically from the middle, which is the energy between you and the situation and or person, okay? Whatever is going on with you currently, by all means, get in where you fit in, okay? So let's see where your energy is, Cancer. We have five of pentacles. Taurus energy, Taurus feminine energy to be exact, followed by the Palace of Wands, fire energy, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries, and then we have the Four of Cups, Cancer energy, Possibly moon, okay? Cancer moon, possibly, okay? So, is the energy between you and the situation, okay? And or person. Seems like there's some reflecting going on. Could have to do with finances, cancer. As we start with this Five of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Taurus Feminine Energy, okay? Five of Pentacles is usually talking about someone being left out in the cold, okay? Um, I'm feeling like it's like a lack of information being given, okay? Or maybe you feel like you're lacking some particular information or maybe a skill set, okay? But as you can see, this is a mother kind of holding a child, if you will. Um, it looks like she's holding a child, but there's really no face. There's a cup as well. But there's really no face. It's just a light kind of in this bundle. Okay. So it could be just not someone with child but just like i said information because pentacles doesn't always have to be about finances it could be about something valuable or something of worth okay so something is possibly missing okay you feel like something is missing this palace of wands which is in the situation and or person placement okay Palace of Wands, Fire Energy. I'm seeing a couple of wands kind of spread out here, okay? However, there's like knights at the top of these two posts, okay? And maybe there's something missing in regards to maybe your passion for something, okay? Um maybe some groundedness missing whenever this palace of wands comes out or any of the palaces in the different suits within this deck these are kind of like the minor arcana cards it's almost like a desire of a particular home life or some of a desire that's very grand okay in my opinion when i'm reading with these cards and so with this Palace of Wands, like I said, it could be 
missing the determination or will to do something, okay? Um, what that is, is really on you, okay? I'm not really getting anything in particular, and it's possibly because there's a mixture of cancer energy. So if you're not a cancer sun, but you might be a can have cancer in your chart, like birth chart, um, that's possibly why, because there's a multitude of energies coming in, okay? Now... It could be a desire of love that's missing in your life, okay? Um, wanting something in particular, okay? Um, like I said, the energy between the two is this Four of Cups energy, okay? Pisces energy, Pisces moon, possibly, all right? Um, where there's these purple clouds. This person is kind of sitting, crouched up, three cups in front of them, but paying attention to this cup in the sky, okay? So you could be contemplating on how you could possibly achieve this goal, okay? Or where to begin, if you will, okay? Usually with the regular writer's weight, the four of cups is usually showing someone being handed a cup and they're not really sure about whether or not if they want it or they're literally kind of arms folded, not interested, okay? This person more so looks like they're in contemplation about the cup as far as, again, making plans towards it, okay? Like they want that additional cup added to these three, okay? So it could be a situation where cancer, you feel like you have everything you need, but there's this one thing that is missing, okay? And it's something that possibly you are passionate about and you feel as though it's your deepest desire, okay? Thus, this palace of wands in the middle here in between on either side of this palace of wands, okay? So again, not sure exactly what it could be. It could be a relationship. It could be career. It, it could be a multitude of things. For me not to pin, be able to pinpoint what it is, it means that it is hidden with this Pisces moon, okay? Pisces, um, the moon card is usually Pisces energy, okay? And so something is hidden, all right, from either, of, of course, either me, <laughs> as far as the energy being, being hidden from me, or something being hidden from you as you're not seeing the bigger picture, okay? Or maybe you're too, you know, engrossed in the situation to want something in particular. And maybe it's not something you can figure out on your own. It involves uh, talking with someone or kind of really digging a little bit deeper, okay? So let's go ahead and get into your mindful messages. We're going to do one from the top and one from the bottom remember you guys with these you can take both for yourself or one for yourself and one towards the situation however the both of these cards are supposed to be in reference to what your main focus is so however you would like or however you resonate with these cards by all means make it apply to you the way you need it to okay so let's see what we have we have recharge heart chakra, okay, recharge, it says, I invite magic into my life always, every day I grow my connection to this earth, if I am ever feeling low, I simply step outside and appreciate the natural miracles in this life, being in nature lifts my spirits and recharges my energy, okay, so, Earth energy coming out twice, okay? You have Taurus Earth and then with the Five of Pentacles and then you have Recharge in regards to stepping out into nature and kind of re-energizing yourself um, in regards to that Earth energy, okay? It's time for you to recharge. It's time for you to regrow, especially in your heart space, okay? Again, towards this wanted desire, okay? And so I would suggest if you have like a neighborhood park or something like that, 
you probably could take a walk there, kind of sit there for a little while, um, depending on what you are trying to achieve, okay? Um, 30 minutes if you're trying to center yourself, if you're trying to promote change within your life and behaviors and things of that nature, then maybe 50 minutes or an hour to give yourself some, um, an awakening, if you will, and some deeper enlightenment on what it is that you want, okay? Focus on the trees, focus on your breath, um, focus on, you know, if it's a, a beautiful day where you can kind of notice the clouds, um, see if you can, you know, pinpoint the elements, but primarily earth, okay? Um, one thing you have to understand, especially, you know, you're a water sign, of course, uh, water nourishes the earth and helps it to grow, okay? The earth with or without water does still grow. It is ever changing. It spreads, especially in like a forest or like I said, a natural park, if you will, okay? And so you have the ground, pay attention to the ground and, you know, maybe all the different rocks and trees and the roots of the tree, how it spreads throughout the ground. Really focus on those minute things that you really, you know, don't pay attention to, okay? Um, because it could bring out some of that energy that the recharge card was talking about as far as lifting your spirits, okay? Um, and so just take that into consideration as kind of like a meditation exercise, if you will, okay? Next, we have it's not personal. It's not personal, all right? Third eye crown chakra here. People's reactions or opinions of me are really not about me at all. People tend to project their own insecurities or fears into onto one another. So when someone speaks unkindly to me, I'll remember they have something going on that has nothing to do with me. Okay? I'm going to read that again, Cancer. People's reactions or opinions of me are really not about me at all. People tend to project their own insecurities or fears onto one another. So when someone speaks unkindly to me, I'll remember they have something going on that has nothing to do with me. It's not personal, okay? So if you're dealing with interactions as of lately cancer that you're taking rather personal, like it said, if someone is you know, being unkind to you, or in it, especially it's something that's out of that person's character, then there's obviously something going on with them. And one thing I have said, and I think I've, you know, kind of mentioned this in last month's reading, is that people who don't have control in their own lives seek control from others, okay? And so if they're not seeking control, they're, again, projecting what going on in their life onto you as if you did it, okay? And so people have to take the time to have emotional intelligence and really understand the connections that they have with people. That someone who's been kind to you all this time would never want anything bad for you. But if you, you know, feel like they're kind of like in a rough mood than what they usually are in. If they're usually bubbly and then all of a sudden out of nowhere, they're just completely very crass and cruel, then it's obviously something going on. Now, as a friend, you can, you know, extend yourself and say, hey, are you okay? Or you can brush it off and let them, you know, stew in whatever it is that they're going through, okay? Um, me personally being as a friend, you know, I'm more so if I notice something is out of someone's character, I'm going to address it in a sense of, hey, I know you're not your norm. Are you okay? You know, that's my first thing with anyone that I know. If I, if you know someone like the back of your hand and you know when they're not them, 
how can you not notice it? How can you not say anything about it? So instead of taking it personally, extend yourself as a friend um, or whatever your you know connection is and say, hey, I'm not going to take this personally. Something's obviously going on with you. I'm here if you want to talk about it, okay? You don't have to make them. Don't try to make them. If they want to, they will. If they don't, like I said, Pisces, moon energy, okay? Um, and I'm sorry, Cancer, this is actually your energy. I keep saying Pisces. Um, but again, in reference to hiding whatever the situation is, this Four of Cups is actually, sorry, your energy, Cancer energy, Cancer moon, okay? But I do feel some Pisces energy is looming, okay? Whenever I see moon energy, I automatically... Um, pull Pisces in because the moon card is Pisces energy, okay? But nonetheless, okay, like I said, anyone acting out of character towards you, don't take it as personal. Ask them if they're okay or if it's something that you might have done, okay, that you're unaware of, okay, with this five of pentacles coming up, okay? So that could be what your situation is, all right? Now, with that being said, let's get into your sacred geometry so that way we can see what the outcome of the energy is or your final advice and take it however you would like, okay? Take both for yourself or you can take one for yourself or one towards the situation. You can also take a screenshot of the imagery here and use it um, for a visual aid in a meditation, okay? So, we have 20 discernment, okay? New energy alert, as this, I think, is the first time this card has ever came out, okay? Discernment, okay? It says the frequency of discernment supports our ability to view the world and the people around us from a place of inner balance and detachment, yet with compassion and wisdom, okay? Discernment. So just like I was saying before, if someone you know is acting out of character, you know, you have to act with compassion and wisdom to, again, either detach from them and let them go through whatever it is that they're going through, or be a friend to them and extend your hand in a sense of wanting to get to that inner balance and be compassionate in the situation and kind of help them, you know, go, you know, deal with what they're going through. 20, again, focusing on what you want, not what you don't want, okay? Which I separate into a 10-10, a form of, a, of awakening, okay? And so using your discernment is something that you are probably going to have to start getting a little bit better at doing, okay? Um, when it comes to possibly your connections or decision making, okay? Next, we have root chakra, okay? Root chakra. One, intuition and individuality. Okay, the frequency of the root chakra, the red flower of life, stimulates passion and supports our sense of security on this physical plane, both in our bodies as well in the physical world. Okay, one thing I'm also feeling, Cancer, is a possibility of you know, maybe your finances for some of you may be a little bit touched. In regards to a particular situation, maybe you're trying to get a house, okay? Um, and maybe right now is not the best time for you to do it. Maybe you need a little something more as far as finances in order to get this dream house you're looking for, okay? And so maybe the contemplation is um, maybe an offer that was given to you in, in regards to a house, but maybe it's not, like maybe you you know, apply for a loan and it's not the amount in which you thought you were going to get, okay? Um, or maybe you're dreaming about going for the loan and 
you are dreaming that you get turned down or you don't get the amount in which you were thinking you were going to get, okay? And so you need to now ground yourself using this root chakra. Use some discernment if it's something in regards to maybe a down payment for something. You need to use your discernment on, you know, your future expenses on what you can cut back from and start grounding yourself towards getting that goal that you're trying to achieve, okay? So with that being said, that's all that I have for you guys, Cancer. Um, we do have three more readings this week along with the energy shout out on Sunday, okay? Um, if your sign does not come out on Sunday, but you know your birth chart placement, you're more than welcome to still watch that reading or any other readings that are posted throughout this month. Um, and hopefully that will help you out. Okay. So until then, Cancer, peace.